Hello, I'm Jorge Torrico. I'm a civil engineer with more than 20 years experience in infrastructure project management. I'm currently being the Purity Director in Engineering and Consultancy Directorate in INECO and head of the expert group in charge of BIM adoption within the company. Member of the steering committee of the UBIM task group, an European group of policy, policy makers and public procurers with the aim of the harmonization BIM within Europe, a member of any other association and entities related to BIM adoption and standardization. INECO is a public engineering company, one of the most important uh, engineering companies in Spain, with more than 50 years of history, more than 3,000 employees, and participating in infrastructure developments all around the world major projects as uh, airport extensions or high-speed railway networks. Industry.40 is predicted to be a game changer, a huge game changer, revolution in commercial and manufacturing practices through improved knowledge, utilization and efficiencies. But the barriers are significant and especially within the construction industry that are very traditional, as you probably know, and with the lowest level of digitalization, probably far away from manufacturing or other industries. And there is uh, probably no unanimity about which could be the 10, 15 most important trends within the construction 4.0 but I have chosen some of them that I consider that are the most important ones like artificial intelligence, augmented reality, cloud computing, connectivity, advanced robotics, Internet of Things, big data, 3D printing, digital twins, and cyber security. All these trends, or almost all of them, are related to the use of information, of digital information throughout the whole life cycle of the infrastructure. In this path towards intelligent infrastructure described by these three stages, to manage, to optimize, and finally to predict. And what is the role of BIM? BIM plays a relevant role as a methodology for managing digital information and as the core on which these technologies will be applied. It's the acronym of Building Information Modeling, as well considered as Building Information Management to use 3D models with all the data, the digital information of the infrastructure to achieve the end of this path mentioned before towards intelligent infrastructure, employing and storing IoT data from sensors, applying big data and artificial intelligence to optimize solutions, to automatize processes and to improve decision-making processes as well. And creating, at the end, a digital twin as a digital representation of a physical asset that allow to predict and simulate different situations. Predict and simulate digitally before doing in a real uh, world and using those key enablers, those technologies that are key enablers like connectivity, cybersecurity, and cloud computing. 
main challenges, especially within this construction sector, are related with the main barriers to technology adoption that are usually related to people, costs, technology, security, and legal issues. First of all, people. To change company culture and some public authorities' culture as well, many employees are reluctant due to lack of skills or motivation and in fear of losing their status. The challenge is to engage them with a well-defined process, clear and progressive steps that shows the advantages for employees in this uh, transformation. Secondly, implementation costs. Because the sector is mainly made up of small, medium enterprises that have difficulty in making high initial investments like learning curve, training, and technology acquisition. And with the uncertainty of a return of their investment. They need a clear path and to know the advantages of using those technologies in a process that is uh, well defined. The third could be technology issues, standards and software that are not sufficiently uh, developed, interoperability of information in a still precarious uh, step, security and legal issues, especially those issues related to public procurement laws that must uh, be renewed and updated. Respected solutions. From the point of view of constructions, the solutions are in the line of the aspects related to digital twin and digitalization. That are improvement or data capture, both static, like LIDAR or laser scanning, and dynamic from sensoring and monitoring, automatization of data capture processes, eliminating manual issues, especially in field to beam application, use of big data and artificial intelligence for the identification of the objects that make up the infrastructure, integrate the systems, the systems that many of them already exist in these digital twins, and uh, creation from those models of predictive and simulation models, BIM models in general. BIM models that are data integrators that combines rich and complex data from wide variety of sources into a consistent models that covers, as I mentioned before, IoT data, structure, geometry, behavior, time, and business data all kinds of data. Those models that are used to provide data for analytics and simulations, and all the data need is available in a single place, allowing all the agents involved to participate in a collaborative way. BIM provides a single source of truth and allows the employee of those trends technologies that made industry or construction 4.0 possible. Many thanks.